everyone. Today I would like to teach you on the third type of the Fourier theory that is the amplitude phase Fourier series. So on top of the uh, second type that is the trigonometric Fourier series, as you know, you need to find the A0, AN, and BN. Okay, so in this uh, amplitude phase, that is easy because you still need to find the n not a n and b n before you have you can find the amplitude phase, okay? All right. You if you look at here, this is the amplitude and phase. Okay, this is the amplitude. Okay, modulus x n. This is the formula half of the a n square plus b n square and square root, and in which you uh, from here you can get the the capital a n. Okay, capital a m. And then you can get the phase, that is the negative uh, inverse tangent of the BN over AN. Okay, now look at the example of the amplitude phase. Determine the Fourier series of the waveform and obtain the amplitude and phase spectra of the signal XT. So the signal XT is from 0 to 1 with the amplitude of 1. Okay, T0 is equal to 2. Here I share with you with the handwriting notes, okay, uh, instead of just uh, write it one by one, this is pretty long, so I just explain here because uh, as you know, uh, I believe that you are familiar with the N or ANBN, so it would be a uh, little bit fast if I can uh, explain using this PDF file, alright? Okay, so as you know, the A0 is this formula. So this is common to you now. Is uh, You study during the trigonometric Fourier series, mm -hmm. you, st you use the same formula. Okay, so based on the xt, xt is 1, so your xt is referred to the 1. And t0, in this case, is 2. So you inter uh, the limit is from 0 to 1 with the amplitude 1, so you integrate over 1. So you get t, okay, from zero to one. So you get one over two, in which the t naught is two. And next, you as uh, you find the a n. So again, this is the formula, uh, two over t naught, okay, x t cos n omega naught t. So t naught is two, s t again is one. Then you substitute the value of omega naught. Omega naught is two pi over t naught, so 2 pi over t naught, t naught is 2, so you cancel out, you s just get the cos m pi t. So you integrate uh, m pi t, you will get 1 over m pi sine m pi t from 0 to 1, because the signal is from 0 to 1 here. Okay, so you substitute the value, okay, substitute the value, you get sine m pi okay you get sine m pi and then sine m pi you substitute for the sine m pi sine pi you get zero sine 2 pi what is the value sine 3 pi what is the value okay so you get a n equals zero and then you substitute for the b n you use the formula again for the b n okay x t sine n omega naught t okay x t again is one sine 2 pi n t over 2, two uh, the t naught is 2. So you integrate for the sign, you get negative cos, okay? Negative cos and in the bracket is 1 over n pi. So you substitute a value, you get this. So since you get the cos n pi, cos n pi, cos n pi can be, there is some value. There is some value for the cos n pi. This is quite different from the sin and pi because sin and pi you will no matter you you substitute the value of uh, for the even or odd value you will get zero. But there is different for the cos and pi. Cos and pi there is a different value. For example, you test for the cos and pi when n equal to one, cos and pi is equal to minus one. When n equal to two, cos and pi equal to one. Okay. When cos equal to three, uh, when n equal to three, cos and pi equal to minus one. So the odd value you will get negative one, the even value you will get positive one. Okay? So you have this one. So even and odd is uh, result in different value. So now you 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 can substitute 
the cost and price here. For example, you said the odd, the, the odd value is negative 1, right? So you substitute in. So what do you get? Okay, here I substitute the cost and price equal to negative 1. So what do I get? If n is even, I will get 1 minus 1 because even is 1. So 1 minus 1, I will get 0. For n equal to odd, I will have 1 minus with negative 1. 1 minus with negative 1. So I will get 2 over n pi. And then uh, for the trigonometric Fourier series, so once you get the n0 and nbn, so you easily you can uh, and put it into a uh, Fourier series trigonometry form. So that is this is the formula. Okay, this is the formula. So n naught, just now you found it is a half. Then a n is zero. B n is two over n pi. When n is equal to odd, you have this one, this value. So you just substitute in to this one. This part will get zero. If you substitute in, you only this part. So odd means that is two over pi sine two pi n over t naught. Then you have the 2 over 3 pi, okay, 2 over 3 pi. So it's a sine 3 pi, okay, sine 3 pi, 5 pi. So you substitute in the n with odd value only. And then from here, you actually can uh, plot the amplitude. Okay, the amplitude means that this is the amplitude of half. This one also the amplitude. Okay, 2 over pi. And then 3 over 3 pi also amplitude. 2 over 5 pi, this is also amplitude for the trigonometry form. Okay, for the... In order to find the amplitude phase of the spectra, amplitude, amplitude and phase spectra, you have the formula. Okay, xt equal to n0 plus 2, xn cos n omega dot t plus. This is a phase. So this is the expression for the amplitude and phase spectra. So you've got to remember this one. A0 is equal to half. And then An. An, this A0 you will get it from previously. An, so just now I told you the, the formula. An, the modulus An is half of the A0 squared plus B0, Bn squared. Okay, so n, a n is 0, b n is 2 over n pi squared. Then you get 1 over n pi. Then a n is what? a n is 2 modulus x n. You get back the 2 over n pi. So this is again is from the formula, you get this. And then for the first is uh, negative inverse tangent b n over a n, when n is equal to odd. So you get negative infinity. So when the first you get negative infinity, what do you mean? Means that it is a negative 90 degree or negative pi over 2. So when n equal to even, what does it mean? When n equal to even, the inverse tangent bn over an is 0. Okay? So you will get 0. That's why they said when n equal to odd only because even is zero. So now what is the phase? The phase you have the negative 90 and also with the zero. So negative 90 is when n equal to odd. So 1, 3, 5. Even value is all zero. Okay? Do you understand? Okay, that's all for today and I will see you on next class again. Bye.